Hello and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. And in today's episode, we're going to start off Yo. with hanging out with our bro, Kanji. What's up, man? Hey, yeah, you want to hang out, bud? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. The hill overlooking town. Kanji took you here. <laughs> I've always liked this place. Being able to see my house and school and everything from up here, it makes me feel small. Uh, when you met Ma at the hospital, did she say anything about me? Uh... Uh... Uh, you know, I, you know, man, I, I can't actually remember what she, if she said anything. Sorry, man. Huh? What, what, that ain't nice. <laughs> Kanji sighing. I was really un unsure what she would prefer there. I uh, wish I could quit being afraid of hospitals. I gotta get stronger. Huh? That kid, he was with Ma at the hospital. Yo, kid, what you doing here by yourself? Oh, um... Nothing? Then how come you look like you're gonna cry? I lost a doll. I lost the knit rabbit doll that Sanachan let me borrow. Taka-kun said it was girly and stomped on it. He got all dirty, and he said, if you're a man, then throw it away. I threw the doll in the river, and it got washed away. Uh, oh, this poor kid. What should I do? I have to give it back to Sanachan. She liked that bunny, and I... I... Mm. So why are you here? You ran away? You dumb kid. Well... Uh, He's <laughs> Kanji, you gotta be nicer to kids, man! Come on, don't just stand there. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, violence isn't the answer, man. That ain't it. You got it all wrong, I'll kick your ass. I'm gonna go look for the doll. There are spots a kid can't reach. We're still gonna find it, right? Yeah, dude. The riverbank. Kanji's looking in the river. I'll, I'll help. You shut up. You stay where you are. Don't get in the way. Simple, make sure he doesn't come in after me. Whoa, this is cold. Despite his efforts, Kanji was unable to find the bunny doll. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna go to apologize to Sanachan. Even if she's mad, I'll still say I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, well... If you do find the rabbit, make sure you give it to her. Yo, hold up. What kind of rabbit was? S spill it. Just tell me. Alright, I got it. You go apologize to Sanachan. You're the one who threw it away. It might not be the same, but I'll get you a new one. So, let it go with that. M mister who you calling mister? Jeez, I'm still in high school. This is the prime of my youth. Do I really look that old? Maybe it's the eyebrows. Mm. Oh, anyways, sorry about dragging you into this. Uh... Yeah, man, it's, it's too bad you didn't find it. Uh, looks like it got washed away. Kanji looks bitter. It was like I understood how he felt. Wanting to be accepted, afraid of being left out, doing stuff that you shouldn't. Then taking the one person you shouldn't make cry and making them ball. So, you know, I thought maybe I could help him. Was I going too easy on him? Kanji has an embarrassed smile on his face. Now, Kanji's a lot more complex than uh, he definitely sees him, seems on the surface. We are now rank 4. And, uh, yeah, his persona is also going to gain a new ability. A very good uh, ability here. Um, probably just get rid of Raku Kaja. I never you I never... I don't really like the only one party member abilities, so... But Masuga Kaja is really, really good. It'll be helpful in the future. Uh, hmm. Gah, I feel like sneezing, but it won't come out. This sucks. It looks like I'm catching a cold. I better head home. Yeah, man, I hope you feel better. You have a good night, Kanji.
They were helping Nanako with her homework. I have to write three proverbs for my homework today. Oh, I know one. It's, um, a rolling stone gathered to some moss. That always tells me that one. Who can that be? Yosuke and Teddy came by! We had a little event going on at Juness today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako-chan. Oh, are you doing your summer homework? I feel sorry for you. Alright, I'll help you, Nanachan. Um, Proverbs. Ooh, uh... I have one. Kagito ergo sum. <sighs> Where'd you pick that up? Don't cast pearls before in swine. Is more like something you say. Yeah, so we are our friends help Nanako out. That's great. Yeah, closer to everyone! Oh, that's the best! After putting Nanako to bed and saying goodbye to Yosuke and Teddy, you into your room. Summer break will be over soon. We still have lots of homework left, but, uh... I don't know, rainy days are usually pretty blank days, but I'm gonna figure out and see what we're doing today, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, wow, it is actually really rare for me to find people on rainy days. Uh, Adachi oh. seems to be available today. I look like I'm an investor, or forget about that. Oh, he's still slacking off. Uh, yeah, we spent some time with Adachi. <laughs> we need her to get this empty event out the way, so I don't see why not. Gina's grocery department. We went shopping with Adachi and talked about various things. Yeah, and uh, you guys know that closer soon. Always good to see that little thing pop up. Helping Nanako with some more homework. I have to write an essay about something I remember. Hmm. Someone here today, too? Chie and Yukiko! I heard from Yosuke that Nanako-chan is doing her homework, so I'm here to help you. You writing an essay? Have you decided on a topic, Nanako-chan? Not yet. Hmm, let's see. How about the time we all went to the festival together? That's right. The... Ikiyaki, sorry. It took me a while to determine what that word was. The Ikiyaki was so good, I had so much fun. Nanako begins writing her essay. Chie and Yukiko help Nanako with her essay. Yeah, so we- oh, it's so great! We're getting closer to everybody right now. Like, everybody's ready to rank up soon? This is great. Oh, looks like we're getting a phone call today. Hey, Chie, what's going on? Uh... Well, I, I did say... I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing I get when I get these phone calls. I don't know if I want to spend the day with Chie, even though she is best girl. Um, But I'll, I'll figure it out here in a minute, what I'm doing. Hey guys, we're gonna get to Risei in town. I think we're gonna oh, maybe hang out with Risei again today. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know, what do you want to do today, Risei? At the shopping district. I guess we're just walking around. Oh, I guess we took to a, a trip to Okina City today. <laughs> I placed lots of special orders. Come with me next time when I go to pick them up, senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people tried to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. Oh yeah, you want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. Wait, right here. Excuse me, Yusan, is it? Oh, it's that manager guy. Um, sorry about the other day. I'm Minoru Inno? I think it's Inno. Rijay Kajikawa's former manager. I'm sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her? He handed you a letter. A fan letter came, you see. Uh. Why, why are you so interested in her? One of her fans, myself, her talent is captivating. Rise always looked forward to this girl's letters, so I... In today's cult of personality, being popular carries its own problems. Your schedule fits together minute by minute like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day, you're squeezed utterly dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was genuinely brilliant. Not only that, but she's strong enough to use her pain as a fan... fan as a foundation. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So, could you... Sorry, senpai, we're all sold out. Quit pestering me! Wait, what did you say to senpai? 
S sorry, I'm, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. And he ran off real quick. Gee. Hounding me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker. To think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. Uh, I mean, he does seem kind of worried about you. No. He just wants Rosette back. The me he created. Or he says biting her lip. So what did he come for? He told Rise why he came and handed her the fan letter. Oh. This letter. She wrote again. I see, but he came all the way out here for this? This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote down that she wouldn't let any bullies get her down. She tried to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this. Stuff like that. Seeing Rosette work hard encourages me. It makes me feel like I can still hang in there. Huh, she doesn't re really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I felt like Rosette actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I would read them over and over. Senpai, do you still have some free time? Rise seems to be deep in thought after reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being Rosette. I can't meet her expectations. I think, I think she'll understand that... What?! No! Come on, that was like the best answer there! I mean... Are you, are you having seven, second thoughts, Rise? I have no regrets. At least, I think not. I mean, it was such a relief for me to quit. To go back to being the real me. <laughs> Rise has a lonely smile on her face. Anyway, Rosette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed a lot of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over, and I knew already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I can make it thrive. Senpai, Maybe we should really just do it. You know, what I was saying a while back. You should marry me once we graduate high school, and the two of us could work together in the tofu shop. Doesn't that sound fun? H how about it? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, that, that, sound, that sounds great. Huh? <laughs> Simple, you'll say that to just anyone, huh? It's very dangerous to, to, to try to tell everyone what they want to hear. Too bad, though. Rosette wasn't fooled. Rise is smiling. Thank you, Senpai, for being with me all of today. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. And it looks like there are still plenty of things that only I can do. You can sense Rise's quiet will. We, uh, begin a little deeper into her understanding of who she is. With rank 6. And now she will precisely identify enemies' weaknesses. That's huge. That's great. Sorry for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. I'll see you later, Senpai. Bye, Rise. You have a great night. Still helping Nanako do her homework? For today's homework, I have to write a book report. I already finished reading the book, so I just need to write about it. A king goes into a deep forest, and... Nanako puts a lot of effort into her book report. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. But the king said he was happy, but I feel sad for him. Um, big bro, do you feel happy when you're alone? Um... I mean, it, I guess it depends, really. I see. Maybe I should write about you, too. Did Nanako finish your report, you put her to bed and return to your room.
All right, guys, let's figure out what we're doing for our Saturday today. All right, guys, I had to do a, a reload trick to get in order to get back into my house um, after I left today. Uh, but I, I kind of want to read the speed reading book, if I can find it. Uh, yeah, hyperspeed reading. So this will make it so anytime we read in the future, we'll essentially read twice as fast. So we can get more stat points that way. Uh, I also am kind of curious to know what we'll get uh, because it's raining today. You begin reading hyperspeed reading. The book explains a method for greatly enhancing your reading speed and recall when reading books. You read on, thinking this could be effective for all kinds of books. Okay, so we get knowledge for that. That's pretty cool. There's still some pages left, and uh, yeah, we're going to have to get to those the next time we have some free time to read. Helping Nanako with her homework again. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. Milk carton, paper towel tube, knitting wool, origami paper. What else do we have? I guess uh, somebody else dropped by is dropping by today too. Risa and Kanji! Senpai said that Nanako-chan was doing her summer homework. You should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. I can't do any of this art stuff. Me neither. Let me see what you've got. Carefully, Kanji carefully crafts something with incredible detail. And creates something that no elementary school student could make. Yeah, forget that's so great. It seems, like, it seems like all of our relationships are ready to rank up. Like, just from spending time with Nanako. And that's, I mean, let's just be real here. We all just wanted to spend time with Nanako. Oh, looks like we're getting another phone call. Hello, it's Rise. Hey, Rise. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what I want to do yet today. Um, but I will, I will, I will be sure to let you know. Uh, here in a second. Oh yeah, shopping program. Oh nope, D dang it! Hit the wrong. There we go. Someone called me from downstairs. Oh, the last order we had. Okay, so I guess I never picked that up. Alright, let's see what they got. Okay, yeah, weapon for Yosuke. Yosuke gets so many freaking weapons, man! Uh... I believe the Magitama are items that do 150 damage. So I, I think I'm actually gonna pick those up. Uh, definitely one of those things that'll be useful going in dungeons, especially for people who are out of SP or low, or I don't have an element to match. So yeah, guys, we'll figure out what we're doing today and we'll be right back. Hey guys, looks like Kanji's available today. Uh, I think it'd be a great time to spend some time with Kanji. Yeah, man, you wanna hang out? The hell overlooking town. It seems Kanji called the boy here. Here's the stuff I promised you. N no complaining, okay? Kanji handed the boy what appears to be a bunny doll. Complete with clothes, a ribbon, hat, and an umbrella. It's very elaborate. Whoa! This is incredible! Where'd you buy it? Uh, who, who cares? But I want one too! W well, I got one for you. Me two of them! Oh, that's so great! Kanji handed the boy another bunny. Complete with clothes, shoes, a cap, and a soccer ball. It's very elaborate. For me? Thanks! But where'd you buy it? Er... Yeah, this, this old man right here made it. What are you telling him for? You made this? Y you got a problem with that? If you think it's so creepy, then give it... Wow, you're so cool! Hey, can you make me something else? My mom loves this kind of stuff! Uh, sh sure You promised! I'm gonna go give this to Sonachan. Thanks, mister! I'm not that old, damn it. Uh, <laughs> he said I'm cool. That's pretty amazing, dude! Yeah, but it's not like sewing's good for anything. Kanji seems embarrassed. But, you know, it ain't a bad feeling. Thanks, huh? Nah, it was nothing. Kanji with his embarrassed smile looks more mature than usual. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty freaking awesome. If you just make something like that, you know? We are now rank 5 with the Emperor. Just 
This is a great place, huh? The wind's different up here. Never noticed before. Later. Later, man. You have a good night. Fun time hanging out with our friend Kanji. He's a really nice guy. Now, helping Nanako with her homework once again. I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Hmm, which one should I choose? The platypus? I know, there's a shirt w with it. Oh, yeah, yes! Oh, I know, there's a picture of it on that shirt my dad bought. What's it called? A platypus! I'll write about platypuses. Nanako is eagerly begins researching platypuses. She doesn't seem to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. Platypuses lay eggs, and they have poisonous claws. Question, is it the male or female platypus that has the poison claws? Uh... Okay, hold on, let me, th let me think. I have no idea. Why, why does it give me every possible option? I hate this. Um, the, the, the male, though? Oh, thank God, Nanako. Oh, you're a smart pig, bro. Nanako was impressed. Oh. Oh, jeez. Nanako put me on the spot like that. After Nanako finished her research, you put her to bed and returned to your room. Still have some homework left. It'll be risky to delay it any longer. It'd be best if you worked on your homework today. I guess... I guess the game's gonna force us. You decide to do your summer homework. Yay, knowledge! Your homework is mostly review problems. You feel like you have a under, better understanding of the material. You'll feel that you understand it, but still not well enough. Since you've completed expert study methods... See? You gotta get that book read, guys. Read the books. They're important. After working urgently on your homework... Yes, we completed it! I was actually kind of afraid there might be a penalty for not doing it, like, the entire summer. I'm kind of glad that the game forced us at the end. We're helping Nanako with her homework. This is the last thing I have to do for my homework. I just need to write a picture diary. Um, Dick Bro and Dad. Let's see, August 27th. Ah, I don't remember the weather. Um, Big Bro, did it rain the day that we worked on my art homework? Okay, hold on, I, let me think. That was the day that that Kanji and Risei came over. Who did I hang out with that day? I think that was the day I read the book. So I, I think it was raining all day. Was it? Oh, I think I picked the wrong answer. Big Bro and his friends helped me with a lot of my homework. They were nice. I liked them so much. No, don't look. Oh, she's embarrassed. Nanako has finished all of her summer homework. After putting Nanako to bed, you went to your room. Oh my, guys, summer's almost over. Only two days left. Good morning, Senpai. It's me, Rise. And with that, guys, uh, we're going to pick up Risei's phone call in the next episode. Thank you all for joining me again today, and I apologize for the abruptness of the last episode ending. I was having some technical difficulties on my end. So I hope to see you guys in the future. Uh, yeah, you all have a great rest of your days. Bye!